What motor's in the car? Is it a B-Series? Yeah, I've always, I've always ran a B-Series. I've always been, uh, you know, now nowadays is the K-Series and stuff. So right. but I'm still I'm still a B-Series guy. Fans of drag racing are always living on the edge. Badass cars, crazy drivers, and the best kinds of racing you can ever think of. That's why Street Outlaws is such a famous show. And somewhere in the midst of all that, tire smoke stands the man called Chuck Seitzinger. At the ripe age of 50, Chuck's life story reads like a high-octane thriller. His journey into the adrenaline-fueled world of racing began the moment he could grip a steering wheel, tearing up the asphalt during his senior year. In 2004, Chuck's meteoric rise saw him crowned Rookie of the Year by the NOPI Drag Racing Association. But that was just the warm-up lap. He went on to clinch the coveted Nitrous Express P4 Xbox Cup Championship in the fiercely competitive four-cylinder division, solidifying his status as a force to be reckoned with. Yet, just when fans thought they had Chuck all figured out, a bombshell revelation rocked the Street Outlaws community. He was sent to prison. Why? Well, you're about to find out. Join us as we reveal what really happened to Chuck Seitzinger from Street Outlaws. No shame in my game. I'm not gonna bow my head, losing to Larry Larson. He's a great competitor, he has twice the motor. You know me, I don't make excuses, I'll be faster next week. Chuck Seitzinger embodies the essence of a Street Outlaws OG, a true legend whose roots run deep in the asphalt. Like Big Chief, he's been tearing up the streets since the show's inception, showcasing his unmatched racing prowess time and time again. Chuck's journey into the world of cars began at a tender age of 16, where he dove headfirst into the world of vehicle customization to make ends meet. By 1990, he was already making waves as a tech for Honda, laying the groundwork for his illustrious career. Family ties run strong in Chuck's world, with a brother named Dustin and a sister named Kimberly. Chuck was all about cars for the money, and it wasn't until he found his way to the racetrack that he found his true calling. In 2004, he earned the prestigious title of NDRA Rookie of the Year, solidifying his status as a rising star in the racing scene. Chuck didn't stop there. Armed with determination and a relentless drive for excellence, he honed his skills to perfection. He acquired a technician certificate from the very factory he once worked for to climb the ring to become a Honda factory trained service advisor. In 2001, he took the next leap forward, delving into the world of car modification, setting the stage for the thrilling chapters yet to unfold. Behind the wheel of his 1989 Ford Fox Mustang, Chuck commands attention on the streets and the tracks alike. And this isn't your grandma's slow Mustang. Chuck's ride has undergone a radical transformation, boasting a Chevy engine that's turbocharged to the max. What began as a humble car has morphed into a speed demon, earning its stripes as one of the fastest rides in the nation. Today, Chuck's Mustang is a force to be reckoned with, a revered icon in the world of racing. But Chuck isn't just a racer, he's a businessman with a knack for success. As the proud owner of Chuck Seitzinger Racing, he's carved out a name for himself both on and off the track. Before joining the Street Outlaws crew, Chuck dipped his toe into the Death Trap Mustang project, and that journey to success has been anything but smooth sailing. Despite facing setbacks in various business ventures, including importing commodities, he remained determined to find his place in the world. After all, he could always try his hands on other things if one failed. His big break came when he was invited to join the cast of Street Outlaws, catapulting him into the spotlight and significantly boosting his earnings. For Chuck, it was a turning point, a chance to showcase his racing skills to a wider audience and reap the rewards of his perseverance. Joining the popular show not only provided Chuck with a more stable income, but also elevated his status within the racing community. Today, he's a respected figure among Street Outlaws fans, admired for his talent behind the wheel and his resilience in the face of adversity. Chuck's personal life has equally had its shares of ups and downs, with details about his relationships often shrouded in mystery. Despite the lack of information about his wife, it's known that they shared a bond that resulted in the birth of three daughters. Their eldest daughter, Chelsea Seitzinger, is pursuing a degree in veterinary medicine at the University of Oklahoma. While Chuck appeared to be a devoted family man, capturing precious moments with his loved ones, reports surfaced of marital discord and alleged abusive behavior. Sadly, these issues led to the breakdown of his marriage, prompting his wife's family to intervene legally to secure custody of the children. Since the split, Chuck has moved on and is now in a new relationship. While the details surrounding the separation remain private, his new girlfriend is the talk of the town. Elisa Noel is not your average chick. She is so hot, the son is jealous. 
and when Chuck confirmed their relationship, it was revealed that they had been together since July 2018. Their shared love for racing cars, particularly Mustangs, played a pivotal role in igniting their romance. Both enthusiasts in the automotive world, their mutual passion for cars served as the foundation of their relationship. Elisa brings her own expertise to the table, having worked in the aftermarket performance sector as a designer. Her hands-on experience and passion for design, media, and writing complement Chuck's racing background perfectly. In addition to her professional pursuits, Elisa is the proud owner of her design company, Urban Heart, located in Monroe, Louisiana. She also has two wonderful daughters from a previous marriage. You'd think Chuck's wife would have sued him for cheating on her or the other alleged things with her while they were married, and that's why he went to jail, right? You'd be wrong. Chuck actually went to jail for doing the right thing, standing up for his daughters. The story is as intriguing as you can imagine. When he found himself behind bars, Street Outlaws fans were left puzzled, wondering what led to his arrest. However, Chuck has now come clean about the circumstances surrounding his time in jail. While cars may be his passion, Chuck prioritizes his family above all else. In an effort to protect his children, Chuck found himself in a situation that ultimately led to his arrest, with the ordeal extending until April 21st, 2022. Despite missing out on the Florida race, Chuck made a triumphant return to the No Prep Kings event at Virginia Motorsports Park. Before addressing his fans and critics alike, Chuck felt the need to pay his dues, reflecting on his experiences and the challenges he faced during his time away. But why would a man get locked up for protecting his kids, you'd ask? Chuck's legal troubles came to a head when he was convicted on two counts, including making a threat of violence and placing a threatening and harassing phone call, both occurring on July 25th, 2020. Reported by Capital Sports Report, the case, initially filed on August 19, 2020, reached its conclusion on March 28, 2022. In a candid Facebook post, Chuck addressed the rumors surrounding his incarceration, stating that he found himself in trouble while trying to protect his children and acknowledging that he handled the situation poorly. Despite spending time behind bars, Chuck expressed his readiness to return to racing. Chuck recounted the tumultuous events that led to his legal troubles, explaining that his children needed assistance while he was hospitalized. Despite his condition, his children were sent back home, where they encountered difficulties. Chuck received a distressing call while in the ICU, prompting him to intervene. Reflecting on the situation a year and a half later, Chuck shared that he was facing misdemeanor charges related to the incident. Initially planning to plead no contest, he found himself facing a harsher sentence of 60 days in jail and a year of probation. Chuck acknowledged his instinct to protect his loved ones, but recognized the need to temper his reactions, especially as a public figure in the racing community. As part of his sentence, Chuck was mandated to complete a 13-week anger management course and cover court expenses, according to Reality Tidbit. This turn of events underscored the challenges he faced both personally and legally, prompting him to reflect on his actions and consider alternative approaches in the future. According to Capital Sports Report, Chuck spent the required 60 days in jail, with Judge Hudson ruling that he would serve his prison time in the Oklahoma County Jail and an additional year under supervision of the OPS concurrently. Chuck also shared insights into his jail experience through a YouTube video, revealing that he was sick in the hospital ICU when the incident occurred. Shortly after being discharged from the hospital, he found himself under arrest, adding another layer of complexity to an already challenging period in his life. In addition to his thrilling street racing escapades and television stardom, Chuck wears the hat of a savvy entrepreneur as the owner of Alternative Motorsports. This bustling shop served as his personal playground for tinkering with his own cars and lending a helping hand to fellow racers in need. With a keen eye for business, Chuck has expanded his empire to the digital realm, boasting a vibrant website where fans can snag exclusive merchandise ranging from stylish shirts to coveted die-cast models of his legendary car. But Chuck doesn't stop there. He's a modern-day content creator extraordinaire. With a lively YouTube channel aptly named Chuck Sightseer Racing, he invites viewers to buckle up for adrenaline-fueled races and snippets of his colorful life. With over 2 million views and a dedicated following of 41,000 subscribers, Chuck's online presence is a force to be reckoned with. Yet, amidst the glitz and glamour of his success, Chuck faces the bitter sting of his ex-wife's scorn. Their breakup seems to have left a bitter taste, with Chuck's ex taking to social media to air her grievances, much to his amusement. But Chuck, ever the provocator, cheekily brushes off the negativity with a witty caption or a sly smile, proving that even in the fast-paced world of racing, he's always one step ahead. 
With a net worth of $800,000 and a legion of fans eagerly awaiting his next move, Chuck Seitzinger continues to blaze a trail both on and off the track.